Just a quick video on uh, automatic fish feeders. Uh, the aquaponic system we're using has got about 80 fingerlings in it, silver perch. Uh, and we're using an automatic fish feeder just so we don't forget. The kind of one with the digital thing. I can't remember what name it is. I can't see any name. And on this side where the food comes out. Bumped into a bit of a problem of overfeeding. Uh, so the fish, uh, even with 75, they're not real happy taking what uh, this pond fed is probably more for koi or something, they're a lot larger. Um, it's a pretty basic uh, motor that turns a little shuffle down the bottom. Uh, that's the amount come out here, but the biggest problem is, even on the lower settings when you set it up, feeding once a day, the smallest amount that comes out is almost double what I need for feeding the fingerlings. So on the fingerling tank, um, we had to do something about it so as much as just quickly showing you an automatic fish feeder which uh, works pretty well except for in the heat I had it outside and we got a 30 degree day and the internals all warped so it just had error on the digital screen and obviously wouldn't do anything so all the gears had kind of seized from heat so this one's been pulled apart and kind of bodged up I suppose to make it work again uh, so I wouldn't advise putting them out in the sun uh, even though you might see pictures on the internet of them on the sun, uh, you know, full sun, uh, the plastic just gets too hot and warps in Australia anyway. Uh, so basically, inside it has a little pin in the corner. If you pull that out, you're able to take the top bowl off. Oh, with a bit of an unscrew. So the main feeder bowl is there. Now inside, there's this little disc which lets the amount of food go into it for the fish. So you can kind of pull that out. It's, it's uh, just runs off a spring cog here so you can kind of get it in and out. Also found it's a bit rough, you know, the just cheap Chinese plastic or whatever. You can see kind of the scuff. Um, it hasn't actually done that much work this one, but uh, apart from seizing up, uh, most of the seize up came also from the disc getting hot and rubbing, rubbing in the internals. You can see all the scuffing and whatever. So basically just showing you a really quick way around this problem. Get a bit of Lego. I'm glad the kids have got about three tons of it. Bit of Lego, make sure it's flush with the bottom so it's not going to scrape as it drags around that cog. A couple of screws. I pre-drilled them all just for ease. And then, um, basically, if I can get it off again, I just added uh, one main block, the blue block, then a red block, and found this nice piece that they probably need for making something off a car or something. So as you can see, that hole there where the Lego is, the void, that's where the food gets collected. So pile of food there. So this thing spins around inside, a bit below there. It uh, collects the food from here. So this hopper is obviously full of all that food when it's sitting on top. This just turns around, picks up this amount of food. So that, that space there turns around inside bang, comes over the release area, all your food comes flowing down. You know, it seems to do a good job, but being that it was uh, basically contaminating the tank with too much food, making sludge and, you know, making the fish upset, uh, I thought I'd just show a very easy, quick trick. Um, very easy to get the disc out of the machine, to pull the top off, and uh, yeah, look, one piece of Lego, and two more flat pieces of Lego, and a nice flat one for the top, so the food doesn't all get stuck in it. Um, I'm sure a bit will get stuck down the sides there, but it doesn't really matter if it never comes out or whatever. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd show you a quick tip on how to make one of these outdoor pond feeders, which doesn't really cope very well outdoors in the sun, into something that you could actually feed fingerlings with. So now with this quick mod, I've got the perfect amount of fish food coming out. One other little thing I'll show you is I won't bother putting this back together, but I'll just put the hopper on top. Hopper on top, don't to bother with the lid, close the little door, oh, they reckon that's waterproof as well, I don't know, it's a bit dodgy. This is um, this green thing on the bench is uh, part of the fingling tank out the back, so just to get around the heat, I got just a foam box that the fingerlings actually came in, which was kind of handy because I didn't have one lying around, and I just cut a hole out for where the LCD will poke out. Put my little feeder in there and I just cut out the door for it 
you know, the rough same shape as the fish feeder. So now it aims this way, so the sun rises over the top and sets. And it's basically protecting the LED screen, which I don't know if you can see it, uh, really get in there, but yeah, LED screen, so you can still read it and make adjustments. And the front is an indirect sunlight, so now, even on a, like today's about 32, um, when I come out and put my hand in there, it's, it's quite cool. So it takes the direct sunlight off it, so all the plastic doesn't warp again and give me dramas. So I'd say it's definitely worth mucking around and making some sort of box for these kind of fish feeders as they just don't, you know, deal with it outdoors. Well, not in, you know, Australian sun anyway. The, the, the thing would have been destroyed if I left it out there one more day. It only set out there two days and then didn't work. So stop feeding the fish, which is not a good thing, especially when you don't know exactly when it stopped feeding the fish. So, um, you know, just a quick tip on uh, how this works. If you bear with me one moment, I'll put this camera down, and I'll be able to jump this thing back in. There we go, shut it in. Put the hopper on. to show you the actual thing work so I don't even know if I put the hopper on the right way then let's see if I put the hopper on the right way all right so it's collecting the food so it all going down in the little chute you now with the Lego and then at this side there's the food. So just about the right amount for my uh, fingerlings. Anyway, a couple of quick tips on uh, automatic pond feeder. So.